Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play European Tiles 4 as Croatia. Last episode, left off wondering, who am I going to declare war against? I think Venice, which I hadn't actually looked at last episode, might be an exquisite target, while none of my allies are interested in joining in, which is a little annoying. But, you know, maybe we, we can let them take a beat, maybe. It looks like I should be able to defeat everything like that, as is. Would bring in Austria, but not as an HRA leader, so they don't get to bring in all their own allies. Um, I mean, we've got money, we've got the manpower, we've, you know, we've got some space. We should just be able to go and boop them quite quickly. The only thing we don't got is the ability to actually win these sea battles. So taking Venice itself is still not something that's really going to be an option for us. Um, but we can take, you know, everything around it, which would decrease the naval force limit as well, and maybe put us in a better situation for later. I think I kind of like that idea. Um, I would still much rather, though, go after the Ottomans. But we would really need the help from other people to do this. Okay, France could get pulled in now. Uh, if I asked her to prepare for war, it'd be plus 20 over here. They'd be willing to do it. But they don't have any money, and their manpower is considered low currently. So how good of a war ally would they be? Yeah, they literally have no manpower reserves. So I should definitely... If I'm going to do some warfare, I should definitely do a little bit of it on my own here. So I think that's what I'm going to set up for. I'm going to set up over here. We'll declare on Venice. We'll probably just go and sit on Austria first. Maybe get a separate piece out there. Um, I'm definitely going to make sure to dock my troops now. Um, do we have a coastal fort? I mean, we do have one in Treviso. Which... Well, let's raise all my forts now. And let's say definitely we should get that going on. Although I think one of my troops... Oh no, we're moving both here, yeah. So we're not going to have any units over here. And so it's going to be very important that the garrisons are in place and ready to go. Yeah, you guys just chill over here for now. I do have some money. We could do some ship upgrading if I sort up some more. And that might be a good thing to do. Okay, I'm just going to wait probably until April the 1st. Because I'll get the extra morale tick. There we are. I mean, all of my neighbors should all have that up there. Okay. So we're going to hit go. This might be our opportunity to eat... Uh, silly little country as well. Now, there's no forts over here. Everyone there, because that'll be an insta stack wipe, because of the 10 to 1 ratio. Good. Split you and split you to do this. Prevent you from recruiting troops. We're just going to try to get Austria out of here instantly. Cossack aggression matters beyond our control. Cossacks get a bunch of loyalty and influence, and we piss off Poland some more. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Okay, so I'm moving around a little bit here. They're gonna siege me out, and there's not much I can do about that. It would be an, it will be annoying if they drop troops here and then force my ships out, because they're gonna be able to do some pretty big boopage. Um, they're clearly landing someone. I'll send some troops down that way. Just in case, because I don't want them to force my sh my ships out of harbor. That would be bad. So yeah, the goal here is to remove Austria from the war immediately. They test some loose stability. Um, I think I'm going to do this. It's a, it's semi-similar in terms of costs. Uh, maybe the... And losing stability set technically is losing more points. You know, I'm going to sit here and just start the siege. It's going to be a little slow. I don't know where those troops went. So I think they just retreated to Ottoman territory. Okay, I'm buzzing around over here, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is just put the cannons in there, please. Just slow down those ticks a little bit. So it'll be much better if I don't have to re-siege that. I was going to say, watch them win on the 7% anyway. God damn it! The AI cheats! Okay, no, that's just, you know, we, we see enough sieges, 
that ultimately we're going to see some of those numbers happen from time to time, but ugh, it does feel like we get a bit unlucky with it. Mm -hmm. okay, siege done here. They're desieging some stuff over there. Ostrich, were you interested in maybe leaving now? Because I don't think I'm taking any land from you. War reps, all your money. Can I pillage you? Yeah, not, not, not if I want peace you out now. I'm, I, I'm just wanting peace you out now. It's gonna be great. Excellent. Get Austria out of this. Clearly, we're gonna have to resiege Treviso. Um, let's go kick some butt over in the east. We can get some ticking war score from our supremacy CB. Or war goal, I should say. They're probably just going to run away. I could do some force marching. It's not like I don't have the admin. Where are you running to? You're running to here. You're, oh, you're... Okay, let's go through here. There you go. You're locked. So I'm just going to ship you now. We will catch you in there. Um, oh, and we got there first, so they were the attackers in the mountain. Okay, well, that's quite good. Where are you going to? You're going to Turda. So we're going to boop you as well. Just stop you from doing annoying siege things over here. Plus, maybe get ticking war score. Not yet. Not yet, but that's going to be okay. So yeah, we're looking to take some land from uh, Venice here so we can get some more Venetian trade value. Perfume Capital and the Po Estuary in Ferrara would be excellent to get. That's new! Huh! And yeah, I mean, feel free. There you go, that's been cleaned up. Come over here. It's a neat little warning. We didn't get it over here. Why is it over here? Like the warning. I don't know. Um, okay, that's starting to be a lot of dudes. Now, it is grassland. We only have one maneuver. I think we can avoid the river crossing coming here. We technically would have bigger numbers. But not by a ton. How's our composition over here? I mean, it's fine. I don't know what our relative... What do you get at 18? I went with cannons, flank range, okay. Um, relative morale and discipline. I think we should be higher for us in both categories. How's your leader? Lots of shock. Ours isn't quite that good. Maybe what I could do, tell you what, that's what we'll do. I'm just gonna steal half the infantry over here. you that way. Oh, you're gonna run. Yeah, you better run. Silly, okay, I definitely want to eat you up. Aggressive expansion be damned. Oh, you're not willing to take it. Like the war, ally in war. Mostly we need to let the length of war kick down, I guess. Because the peace offer and the war score is not going to change. Military strength. Um, actually, I guess if we booped your armies, that would change you. We might be able to catch you with a force march, actually. Oops. Force march. Join. Start with force march. There we go. Okay. I think that was... Maybe all Venice? I don't know. Maybe we got Silly as well. It was a stack wipe, which is kind of impressive. Well, I mean, no one's going to feel like they have much of an army, and clearly we have the ticking war score. There, their enthusiasm is now low. There we go. And yeah, we absolutely, absolutely want to eat them all up. See, shift? Shift right mouse button, I guess, is for all of it. There we go. Because I think we complete a mission by doing this. There he is. And it is. it has been time. So that's Conquer Carnolia, which gives us more army tradition. No reason to hesitate on that, I would say. Core, pretty expensive. But hey, we that's what the admin power is for. Um, 
Yeah, the former Vienna keeps getting sieged out because it's a pretty valuable province. I guess I can't get through anyway, not without Treviso right now, or getting um, access rights anywhere else, so we may as well just desiege that. Boom, boom, boom. Manufactory is being built. Money storing up again. Yeah, it's amazing that we're not waiting to tech. We're not waiting for um, the institution to tech. We're waiting for the tech costs, like the ahead of time penalties to go down. Like, we've been teching so well. That's really good. Yeah, that's okay. Go ahead and land. Yeah, it would be nice to be able to take the island. Uh, can call in allies, but there's no reason to do that. We'll let France just chill out. Maybe keep its maintenance low. Help uh, improve its economy a bit. Not waste any manpower running over here. Speaking of wasting manpower, though, there is this. Being attritioned. Oh, we took the siege. Hold on. Um... more dudes. Lost an advisor. Hmm. I think I'm just going to take, take a cheap dude for now. We don't need the power right now. And we can use the money. There you go. Please merge up. Thank you. Do them sieges. So they've sieged a little bit of stuff over here, but nothing that's a big deal. All gonna go quite fine. Now, um, who else is in this war? Genoa, Savoy, the Knights. Okay, that's fine. I wonder, is there any chance we could just vassalize? No, 178. Okay. And then done. I'll split you and do some of this. I could use the carpet siege button, but nah. And we don't occupy their capital either, which we need to vassalize them. But at least now I don't have to stress about the fact that I can't occupy their capital, because it doesn't matter. Because they're too big. So we're just going to grab their coastal stuff. It'll split Venice in half, which is great to do. Plus, it denies them um, more places to build ships. And Ferrara, in particular, is going to be very valuable. Because it's got, like... an estuary? Right? Come on, tooltip. There you go. Poester, yeah. Cities. Yeah, so it just moves base tax around and does not destroy our army morale, so clearly we want to go for it. Bum, 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 bum. CB against Tuscany. They're privateering. Ottomans have global trade. The hell, man. I think they might have gotten knowledge sharing, and then they probably just saved up tons of money. May as well boot you. But. Bum bum. Hmm. Well, we have a truce with Austria. We'll have one with Venice. None of these are scary enough to really overwhelm us. If they form a, a coalition, which they might not, they might not declare war. And even if they do, our allies should actually be okay. I don't think we want to go any further than this. Well, I mean, we could check to see... Yeah, that does add a few more, and we'll just make it take longer as well. So, we're going to go over here. War reps? Really? Well, we're not going to peace out now, then. Um, I was going to say, they've got the treaty... Do you actually have a... No, that's military access. You do have an alliance with Austria, but I don't see any reason to break that up. Right now, I think them being allied to each other, as opposed to something bigger, is doing just great things for us. So, I think we're just going to have to wait for time to tick down. I'm going to group up everyone here, and then I'll split the country in half. Or the, the, the dudes in half, just to rebalance things. Um, half price fort defense, or... Oh, end of game! No, no, we, we need the end of game defense in this modifier. Turns out, until end of game is forever. So, that's a pretty good benefit to get. Um, I might want to keep some dudes around here, actually. Or anti-rebel busting, now that that's been balanced. And yeah, if I wanted to peace out here, length of war, uh-huh. Ticking war score is still ticking in our favor, so we've got more points that are going to get there, which is going to double dip, because it'll give us, I mean, more 
war score and then remove the exceeds war score thing. So yeah, we can just wait. Not even that that long. And we're going to be able to take this. Oh, plus one advisors. Nice. I like that. Now, it would be great if we could actually take the capital here. Do you not have... Oh, it's because I combined. Yeah, I was going to say. We do have an extra leader. That's going to increase the separatism here. That's a bit unfortunate. Tech is possible, but very expensive. Although we could use it to unlock an idea group now. I think what we're going to do is a little bit more development, though. Yeah. Just bring more places up to 10. Or, you know, um, ooh, factors of 10, anyway. He'll be considered the attacker in here. Let me just switch this around. Oh, you, you there? No, okay, right, that's fine. All right, let's go boop these guys. I guess that's the thing. I could go after Savoy. I was going to ignore them. Ooh, you reinforce, but we're going to be okay because, again, they're counting as the attackers there. That was actually pretty stupendous. Okay, we'll go stand in these mountains. But you are going to come over here because we might need to do some reinforcement. They'll take a while before they get their morale ticks. But yeah, we don't really want to defend, or rather be the attacker in the mountains here, which is what's going to happen if we get attacked. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at development. No, it's not development. Uh, this is development. Sort by cost. And just look for things like this. I mean, you're kind of actually shit and not occupied right now. Um, here, like that. And one of those. One of those. And you actually get salt, which is pretty valuable. Because we have a little more admin than the others. Okay, that brings you up to 10. More salt here, although right now there's some reduced value of things. We'll do it that way. Okay. I think it's because of, uh, yeah, it's cultural mismatch, so we don't get the same value, but that's okay. That siege is coming along. They haven't attacked yet. I mean, they're still they're still not fully morale. They're actually being attrition in their own land there and not making decisions about things. They're scared! But yeah, we can get a little bit more war score just by taking some stuff from their allies. And actually, I could separate piece out um, Savoy and Genoa as well. Yeah, that siege is fine. I can't... I can go here right now. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and do it then. Why not? Might make it a little harder to reinforce, but I'm actually feeling pretty good. That's completed. Um, I don't think I want to start the attack. So I'm going to go down here, and if they start sieging out Como, we can jump on them. Yeah, which is what they're going to do. No, then they're going to run away. Okay. Because we could use Force March to jump on them very quickly, and we would get the benefit of the mountains. Oh, shit. Um, that's less than great. Okay, Venice is willing to take this. Which I think is fine. So, war reps take these two provinces and do that. It'll be a manageable amount of aggressive expansion here. Done. So we're not separate piecing out with the others. Maybe I could have gotten more value, but no, this is this is fine. Wow, those are some valuable freaking provinces. That's a lot of development. Holy cow. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, you got damaged. I'll do... When you're done, you're going to go protect trade in Venice once you're actually repaired. Might rebuild some ships too, but we're going to figure out what we're doing with our money situation. We're not desperately far ahead on tech. We've got a little bit of room here, and, I mean, we'll be able to afford the embracing pretty quickly, and hopefully it just gets cheaper too. Levy, that's a lot of money lost. Um, tax dollars go down to get the prestige, the loyalty. 
you know, we'll just say keep it in a modest level. I think that's the best for us right now. I know this loyal states, but that's okay. All right, you are going to rebel stomp in the west of the country. And you are going to rebel stomp in the east of the country. Okay. Gotta keep those rebel factions under control. I don't think... I want a fort over here, so I'm going to get rid of it right away. And I don't think there's any reason for me to keep up my fort maintenance. So we're going to go ahead and mothball all those. Uh, manpower is good. I might want to wait until the coring is done, just in case there is some rebels that are brewing. Although, right now, not bad. That Now, this is with rebel busting, of course. But, if we're to declare war over here. France will jump in. That's a big nope. Uh, Lithuania, if it can pay off some of its debts, will be willing to come in. No one else really. Hmm. Although Tunis won't jump in to defend the Ottomans right now, which is something. Even with France, though, we don't have... Oh, Tunis would jump in if France did. Still, it's better for us this way, but we still have a numbers disadvantage. At some point, though, we got to pull the trigger and just hope we can win through superior fighting. But we also... I believe they've already embraced, which is annoying. But we can embrace soon, and we have a bunch of power to take the tech. Again, I can't ask for knowledge sharing, can I? I can offer it. be great if you did it. Although, it might have already... Sp no, not through my... Um... Oh, okay. It hasn't spread to my capital region yet. Oh, I guess I do have to go to the other view. Uh... Okay. It hasn't. There's one more province that could technically benefit from the sharing. Hey, conversions. Okay, good. Stability is good. CB against Poland. That doesn't really matter too much. And yeah, I can grab you, but you'll get cheaper pretty fast. Because we're... Our cap is at... It's going to be like at 1,200 probably by the time we actually reach these caps. Um, well, we're capped on prestige and everything, so we'll spend the prestige for innovativeness. Don't mind that, actually. And then what idea group are we going to be choosing? Well, the rate at which we get power is about the same, and will still be about the same afterwards. Um, we know that for the Enlightenment, ideally, I think it auto-spreads if we have innovativeness. This not, doesn't affect where it spawns. Yeah, but I think having innovativeness helps it spread faster. And innovation, or innovative rather, is pretty potent. Might be a little late for the tech discounts and the institution costs, though. Like, more spread, but there's not that many. It is nice if you get it earlier. Um, humanism can be very valuable, because it does keep your country a lot more stable, and the minus 10 years of separatism is insane. Economic is really good. We're not we don't really care about the inflation and interest rate ideas so much. This could give us weapon quality standards for more discipline. I mean no matter what we take, there's gonna be some good bonuses over here. But part of me is wondering if we just grab some quantity ideas, especially since most likely we will be sinking some admin into coring and stuff. Yeah, or even offensive. But at a certain point. Shit tons of manpower. I mean, well, there's no certain point. Shit tons of manpower is always good. Oh, free religion change. Yeah, I think I think I like the idea of going quantity. Again, it's none none of it's gonna be bad. There's only the argument of which one's going to be, you know, five percent better than the other one, which is really the situation. Um, and manpower is pretty useful. 
Especially once we start to really want to cycle our wars. I mean, we're, I don't know if we're at the Forever War status of, like, to cycle our, um, our truces with potential coalitionists right now. But it's not that far away, especially since we have access to absolutism. Speaking of, what can I do over here? Oh, if, can I promote another culture? No. Okay. Universities, force limit. It's religious league war. Oh, that's true. That's one of the advantages to doing the religious league war is even if you know we don't care we could have done it just to get the progress over here yeah this is a little disappointing it's actually going to be quite hard for us to get stuff going on in this era although the land force limit is going to go up with our quantity ideas but we're still pretty far away hmm nothing to do but to kick a lot of booty i think all right tons of money which i'm tempted to spend but 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 we're very close. Oh, cost went up a little bit. Interesting. I mean, we took this territory, but it's not... It's not state. I don't know. Anyway, it's fine. We're going to be able to afford it just fine. Oh, and it's actually already spread here. Why did the cost go up? <gasps> because I did some extra development. That's true. That's fine, though. I'm, I'm, I'm totally okay with that. Now, we are going to get some spread soon-ish. I mean, maybe if I built more marketplaces, that would have spread it a little bit faster. Oh, I can do some upgrades on some of these marketplaces. Mm. I can embrace now. But no, wait, wait, what is this? Mission fulfilled. Build a treasury. Oh, yeah! I got 2,000 bucks! Well, shit, yes, do it. Also, so we get permanent inflation reduction. That's quite nice, because, yeah, I was going to say, hold on, this is going up. Maybe that's something I would want to do, but it didn't reach two, and the fact that it decreased on its own is very, very nice. Um, We might need to sink a few more points over here. Because, ideally, I, I'm not going to want to tech until we can get rid of this more. So, in two years would be the ideal. We get rid of the ahead-of-time penalty completely, and just January 1st, we embrace and that tech like mad. The land declares war in Venice. I don't blame them. Someone someone just went and beat up Venice a bunch, so they're kind of vulnerable. Manpower is basically capped. Lithuania would come in if I offer them th uh, stuff, or if I just told them to prepare for war. So, I mean, if I just... Um, do this and this. Now we actually have more troops than the Ottomans even do. And we're basically capped. I mean, we could grab the next military level immediately, but I'm not sure if the leather cannons are, like, game-breaking in terms of boosting us. It might be time. I think I said that last video. Although I'm, I'm quite pleased with how things went means abandoning some rebel stomp but i think it's going to be okay that'll make kick up a little bit uh, might be able to, to get them to pop early it's an idea hmm well i clearly have to put a cut in here but it might be time i might want to uh I could, you know what i'm gonna sink a little military power here That's pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. I mean, this one's fine too. That's a lot of fire. But this is definitely an improvement. What's my military force limit? Okay, I can definitely go up higher. You know, I'm going to throw an extra five cannons in each one of these two armies here. We Well, we might need it to siege level 3 forts if you've got it, but it is going to add a lot of extra pew-pew uh, power in our combat. Um, I think that brings us to the force limit. Okay, one over. Um, I'm actually tempted to maybe throw in an extra couple of infantry here, but I don't know. Well, you know what? We'll do that. That brings us to 30 for the fourth force limit.
Uh, we'll do that. We're going to be slightly over... Or combat width, not force limit. We're going to be slightly over our um, force limit. But that's going to be okay. The navies, we're going to go dock again. So yeah, we lost all the transports because they had been mothballed, so they died instantly in battle here. Uh, I'll dock them in Treviso because that is a place that has a fort. Although I'm not really worried about the Ottomans doing too much over there. All right, we're going to put a cut. I think we're going to declare war on the Ottomans next episode. Let me do that before I forget. But yeah. Oh, and we're gonna let the um, we're gonna let the new units reach over here. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm gonna see you guys next time, folks. Bye bye.